We have a motion. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It passed. Okay, resolution number 30, 2014, consider the construction of the connecting trail from the Montour Trail through Clinger Park to Reserve Drive, pending receipt of all required permits. Uh, Dan, I'd like you to talk a little bit. I know that you've done this uh, free of charge to go ahead down through the trail and, um, and basically uh, mark it out and lay it out. Yeah, what, what we've done is uh, we've, we've come up with a, a design, an accessible design, handicap accessible design uh, to connect the, uh, the Montour Trail uh, to the end of Reserve Drive uh, that is near the reserve development. Uh, we've actually been down to meet with the Montour Trail Council on that. Uh, the plan is completed at this point. I had just mentioned to Andy that uh, I didn't think that there was any formal approval of this, so I thought that it would be good that if the board had any questions and before there's any construction started down there that uh, we at least bring this to the board's attention and we can answer any questions if, if, there, is, if there are any. I do have a question. What's the, what do you mean by the construction? Um, it's, it's, is it going to bid? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'll, I'll let the defer to Frank on that one. As soon as we get money, Tom, we're going to bid. No, you said yeah, we were, had $20,000 well, that's going to be coming in. So uh, the way I understand it, Tom, there could be some volunteer work done on it ahead of time before it goes out to bid. Can you write on that, Frank? Possibly. It's a volunteer work, but before we do anything down there, we'd like to make an approval, I guess, that we go ahead and do this as there's money for it to be done as money comes in. What's the um, anticipated price tag of the project? I mean, doesn't the Montour Trail have federal funding? We'll say we're going to get volunteer, and then we keep sucking money into it like Clinger Park. Let the uh, Montour well, Trail Association they, um, pay for it. What's that? Let the Montour Trail Association pay for it. Why do we got to keep putting taxpayer dollars in the project? There like isn't any taxpayer dollars on this. The 20000 we're talking about coming in right now is being donated by the Washington Authority. I have a question. Correct, Frank. Is that who it's coming from? Yes. Um, You're going to build too much for twenty thousand dollars. What's the length of the trail? Well, that's like eighteen hundred feet. Eighteen hundred feet. I have two questions. Number one, uh, John, did you get my uh, email? On this? Yes. Yesterday. Yesterday. While you're looking, uh, is there any money? or any labor coming out of the township funds? No, no. No labor by the public works? No, the public works hasn't done anything up there. I'm, I'm asking about in the future. <clears throat> we were told that about Clinger Park also. Now we keep dumping money into Clinger Park, though. You can't believe this board here. Nobody has dumped money into what? What are you talking about? What money are you talking about? There's no money that's being dumped into the plan. Okay. No public works has not done anything up there. And I asked no plans if there were any plans at any point to use public works, any labor, or public works or any money going out of the township, either through work or otherwise? The answer to that is no. Well, that's what you say. It is I'm now. The other. Andy, Andy, I have a question. No, there isn't anything. What's been raised and what's been donated is what's being used. Go ahead. You're saying, um, Mr. Ludwin says there's $20,000 coming into the township for this Montreux Trail project. Where's the $20,000 coming from? Washington Authority. And what is it earmarked for, just for Montour Trail, or is it for recreation? It, it's, it's a trail in the park that will be owned by the township. I Montour understand Trail that. cannot own it because it's not their park. I'm not saying that they should own it. I'm saying what is the, the $20,000 earmarked for? Is it for rec recreation? The, the Montour Trail Connection. It is specifically for the Montour Trail Connection. Exactly. And since the engineering has been done by Gateway free of charge, that's been taken care of. And actually, Dan, I haven't been up there, but I was told there's actually physical markers put down that marks where the trail has to go. It's state, yes. State, 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 state. 
there is a committee from the Montour Trail was overseeing some of this, and we took a walk through yesterday, and they said that's a beautiful place to put a trail up to. So, so the township is just involved just to, just to make sure that everything is being done to the correct specifications. Mm -hmm. We're not doing the actual work. The township workers aren't. No, volunteers would be doing work, and it's possible down the road as, the, as more money's raised for it that it could go out to bid at that time. But Dan suggested before we start doing anything, even with volunteers, that we go ahead and get approval and move forward on it. Even when the fields were put to grade and everything like that, and that was put out to bid, the township had to approve it before it goes through. And if anything is built up there, it has to come through the township and be approved by us. That, that's the permission we're looking for tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead. With that trail, you said Montour Trails can't own it, and the township owns that trail there, correct? Yes, that's correct. Tree falls on the trail two weeks from the date it's installed. You're responsible to clear that tree because then it's a public trail, it's a public safety problem. Who clears the tree? Who pays for that? I mean, is that something you're going to put out for bid then and wait two weeks for a tree to be removed? Or is that if something you, you, if you would come out on the Montour Trail? And they, we got volunteers out there. That's not the Montour Trail, so but I'm not worried be, about it. That's township right. property, that's township trail. Yeah, but they're going to help them. Because it's the same where we paved there are paving over here on the, the Montour Trail's an apple. Yeah, the township's an orange, so let's talk about the township, not the Montour Trail. We're talking trail. about township. That's You're talking about the Montour Trail. Hold on, let them finish. 75% of that land going up to the Montour Trail from the park belongs to the township. The Montour Trail, we paid to get that paid. The township paved it, but we paid for the paving. We're working together. You people want to fight all the time. Let's work together and get something done for recreation and, and people. Well, Frank, yeah, Frank I, I agree with you. Other but, but, well, here's, here's what's sort of hard for us to take out here. You, we get all these grants and loans, at, you know, for Clinger Park, but we have our own park right here. If you want to fight people from coming in not using it, that maybe we're trying to get some bathrooms that work in our regular, this is our main park. This is our, you know, this is our flagship right here next to the township building. We're worried about something that's not done. We're getting all these grants and loans there. Andy, I know you went to school or went to took some classes that I assume the township paid for you to take these classes as a supervisor, which 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 is fine. But you and I'm not saying not to get any grants for Clinger Park, but I'm saying whatever you get for Clinger Park, you should also be getting one for especially your flagship park, number one. Number two, the other parks that are already established in the in the, in the area. I, I, I think that equal enthusiasm and, and time should be spent looking for these grants for all of our parks, not just for the Clinger Park and for the Montour Trail. I know, Frank, you're involved in I know you're both involved in that, and, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing or it's wrong, and I'm not trying to fight you. I'm saying, let's look at the big picture here. Let's do it. Number one, you have a flagship park right here that's you're supposed to be so concerned about a key and a post office box. I'm sitting here look, listening as a like I said, I'm not on the parks board, and I, I sit back and I sort of watch what goes on back and forth from between Shirley and my wife and Suzanne and the parks board members, and I watch what you guys do up here also, and you make, Cindy, you know, you're a new supervisor up here, but you, you, you can see, you can make this conflict happen sometimes, where if you truly don't want the conflict to happen, I mean, sit back at any one of our citizens here, ask anyone else here in the audience, anybody here in the audience, and what they think. If, if you're getting these grants for the Montour Trail, for Clinger Park, your own flagship park, like I said, you can't even flush it. The girls can't even flush the toilet this summer. Exactly. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. We do have, have a grant. have a bathroom is repaired. So we, that's taken care of. I mean, whether whether or not, you know, how it goes from here is out of our hands. Is, is up to you. Which it should be out of your hands. It's $25,000 grant. A $25,000 grant isn't enough to fix this problem. questioning the Facebook page isn't creating controversy. If I agree with you, Cindy. I think, actually, I agree with you 100% on the Facebook page. I don't think that anybody should be putting that. I think they should be out on. I agree with you 100%. I wouldn't want that liability. Right. Anybody else can take that from there 
and do whatever they want with it, and that's fine. I won't want. I don't think the parks board members should assume any of that liability. I agree with you 100. percent I think you're but right. I think, I think you're right. You should have a key up there for your post office. I think you're right 100 percent on that. Right. But but I do I think, think that you're wrong by not putting. I do think that you're wrong by not putting the equal enthusiasm in your grants on your main park that's here in our township. If you want to be this involved in what goes on here, then be involved, not 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 just the regulations of, like I said, I agree with you on it, but I don't agree with you on spending all this money on a park that's not done yet. I'm not saying that you shouldn't spend money on it. If you want to do this, and this is something that's up and coming, do it. But put the same, not $25,000. I would like to give a response to you, if you would like to for a minute there, is I think that what's going on here is you're comparing two different things here. When you look at Cecil Park, we can spend money out of our budget on Cecil Park to get things done, whether we want to put new... Hold on a second, whether we want to put swings over there or whatever, but when it comes to Klinger Park, we kind of handcuffed how we can do it. We can't take money out of the budget and do that. We have to raise it some other way. So one of the ways of doing it is going to different places and asking for donations and applying for grants. So to do that, you have to do it different than you do with your other park in the, in the well, center of town. And anybody can go ahead. There's there's four other supervisors here. Any one of them can get involved and get involved with a grant. You know, to do a grant is not easy. It takes a lot of time and energy. I, 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 I think you know what I'm it. talking yes, about. To just do it, it, it doesn't happen overnight, and it takes a lot of time and energy. So a grant isn't something easy to do, but any of the other supervisors can pick up the ball and go with it, too. I, I do have one other question for you, Dad. If you say that your general fund, the improvements can be made down here in this park out of our general fund, then things like safety in the concession stand, bathrooms working, this stuff has been going on for years and years and years. Finally, it's trying to trying to correct these bridges that were put in that the people from the Montour Trail and the park both used because the trail comes right down to it and they have to cross over to access the parking lot. We now have a situation that those bridges were trying to be fixed by volunteers and it's and it was and it's a lead-based paint on those bridges, which everybody in this up on the board here knows this, and they know it's the, it was one of the things, the wrong thing to do. I, I did bring it up in a meeting, but they said no, the volunteers, this is what they were going to do. Again, I'm not a Parks Board member, just a concerned citizen here, seeing what's going on can with I, my family here. I, I, I think that... Can I just I, say it really quickly? Yes, ma'am. I, I, and this was the point I brought up a couple months ago when, I, when we were throwing a million dollars into roads without any explanation. I've said it to Andy, I've said it to Don, I've said it to Dan Dysroth. I've said it to all these guys, this is what I don't want, this is what I think that we're doing. We're throwing all our money into one thing and forgetting about everything else. And that's why I said, like, I want to make a wish list of everything that we want, we could dream of in our township. New bridges in the park, safety, concession stand, whatever, and figure out what exactly can we afford instead of just putting money into one thing at the expense of everything else. Well, I and so I couldn't agree with you more, I understand. but I don't think that we need to attack Clinger Park I think that needs to be a separate issue. I think Clinger Park, well, we the have The Soccer to... Association is actually going to 